BMW has just released the 2023 3.0 Coupe Sport Lite and this is an even more aggressive version of the already angry M4 CSL. It's inspired by the gorgeous 2015 3.0 CSL homage and of course the original 1975 BMW 3.0 CSL and I think the transformation from concept to production is in my opinion one of the best I've seen to date with the production car looking more thought out and simply better than the concept from 2015. And in this video I want to show you why. I'm going to analyze this design and show you why this design is going back to proper BMW styling. Something that's been lacking the past few years. But first let's cover some of the spec and tech of the 2023 3.0 CSL. Unfortunately, this will be a very rare car. BMW is limiting the production to only 50 cars. Most of its body panels are made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic and fiberglass, making it 60 pounds lighter than the already lightweight M4 CSL. It will also make your bank account lighter with a price tag of $750,000. It's powered by a 3-liter twin-turbo inline-6 producing 553 horsepower and 404 pound-feet of torque sent to the rear wheels via a 6-speed manual transmission. This is exactly the drivetrain I want to see in a BMW Performance Coupe. Now let's talk about the design. There is a lot to go over here. So let's jump into Photoshop and compare it to the normal M4 and show you all the details that really makes this a BMW. First of all, starting with the front end. And I'm, I guess, I mean, you know the big difference here. You see it already just looking at these two photos, you see that the grille is completely different in the 3.0 CSL. And I feel like all of these videos talking about the front grille of the new M4 and M3, we've been trying to redesign this in our videos. And then BMW already knows themselves how to make the best redesign of the M4. And that is the new 3.0 CSL up here. The thing I like about this design is it goes back to a very uh, traditional BMW front fascia because we have a, a separation between the top graphics and then the lower parts graphics which are very much M inspired. You see this piece in the middle bringing back some memories from the E46 M3 and then you have this circular intake in this side. This is E46 M3 CSL style having this uh, side in uh, the intake on the side being a circle and you also have look at this small details like this you have the the headlight being a different shape than it is in the M4. In the M4 it has almost like an organic shape to it with very stretched out in both ends. In this end it's stretched out here and also it's stretched out in the in the front end right here. But here we have more of a dynamic feeling to it. So it almost chopped off more in the in the um, in the outer part of the headlight creating more again more traditional looking BMW styling and this is exactly what I want to see from BMW and they knew this all along how to create something like this because they dropped the CSL concept or homage back in 2015 looking fantastic with almost the same exact kind of grill like we have in the production version of this car right here. Another detail I love about the front end is these uh, added added body panels that makes the car wider. We're gonna have a look at that more when we look at the side view and the rear view as well. You have a chamfer here in the front end which kind of fades into the body and it looks really cool, it makes it look so aggressive and planted at the same time. But most of all, I'm, I'm just happy to see a, a modern BMW going back to a more, um, more traditional styling and just have a look at the complexity of all the lines in the M4 here, for example. This intake, then we have another angle on this line and another angle at the lower part with the grill stretching into this very M-like styling that we've seen for decades, but now we have the grills going into them right there, something that doesn't happen in the 3.0 CSL. Looking at the side view, we have some really interesting details right here. One thing that I really want to put uh, attention to is that we now have the Hofmeister kink back in an M car in the 3.0 CSL. You can see that they add a, an, an additional uh, sort of body panel to make sure that the Hofmeister kink is intact in the 3 liter CSL. Compare this area 
this little detail to the M4 down here, which doesn't have that at all. It has a new type of styling of the greenhouse specifically in this area that doesn't have any connection to previous M models or the Hofmeister kink uh, that we've seen for, for decades as well. Another detail I love, you can see this from the side view very well. You have these body panels cutting into the body and create a more dynamic feeling to the overall styling of the car in addition to these M graphics that wraps around the car, both front and rear. And look at this rear view. I love how the wing is integrated in the body. This is another thing that just looks so much better than the M4 and that is the framing of the rear end graphics. Have a look at this chamfer going around here in a very sporty way, elegant way and inside of this chamfer you have all the graphics in the tail end. Compare that to the M M4 right here. We have a wing, a little duck tail up here, then we have another line just cutting down, going down into the ground and you have the bumper sticking out pretty far in the back. It doesn't have anywhere near the same elegance as the 3 liter CSL. Another feature I think has been upgraded for the 3 liter CSL are the wheels. I love these gold wheels. You have the 20 inch in the front and you have 21 inch in the rear. Normally I'm not a huge fan of having different size wheels but I think it really it helps this design in addition to the widened fender in, in, in the rear to make it look super planted looking at it from a three quarter view which we're gonna do right now. So here we, here we see the framing of the rear end in a better view. You have this chamfer, you can't really tell from this picture here because of the lighting but it's there and then we have a normal looking diffuser and uh, exhaust in the rear which looks pretty similar to the normal M4. I don't really have anything against the rear end of the normal M4 except for this line that just goes into the ground like that instead of coming back and, and holding up the graphics like it does, exactly like it does in the uh, 3 liter CSL. And looking at the wing setup, we have double wing layouts in the 3 liter CSL. We have one wing up here and then a gorgeous wing integrated in the body works of the car. This is all fiberglass and so is this wing up here uh, reducing weight obviously. And the taillights, they come from the M4 CSL. I love how they are stylized inside of the housing itself with these very thin LEDs going in there and it kind of uh, fits this, this pattern that we have inside the, the taillight. It goes well, it's almost mirrored by the, the, the lower graphics in the bottom part of the rear end. Last but not least, let's have a look at the interior of the 3 liter CSL comparing it to the normal M4. There is not a lot of differences here because it's based on the normal M4. The thing that uh, really stands out in the CSL is the amount of carbon fiber used all, uh, all over in the interior. You have it in the center dash, you have it up here, you have it in the steering wheel and you have this Alcantara beautiful thick M steering wheel and of course you have this pretty unique design of the gear knob bends out and it feels like it's a super comfortable shifter to, to just hold and of course this is a six speed manual exactly what we want to see from BMW sports coupes. I'm a fan of the interior of the new M3 and M4 because it has a housing for the gauge cluster as I'm talked about so many times before. I like this setup, I like the steering wheel design and the seat design as well. This blue looks gorgeous in the M4 and you also have a pretty decent integration of the infotainment screen right here in the middle. So to sum up the 3 liter CSL, as I said I think this is just BMW playing us here. They know how to create gorgeous looking cars. This is just proof of that. I think the last couple of years they've just been experimenting a lot with how to reinvent themselves and also tr of course trying... It feels like they tried a different kidney design for every single model that they dropped the last five years. But this is more going back to the original styling of BMW in a new modern way. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing here and I hope this will translate into more BMW products that are not going to be limited to just 50 units.